This bridge has the longest span of any cable state bridge in the world. It faces challenges that would destroy any ordinary bridge. The water is too deep, the seabed too soft, and an earthquake fault line cuts through the middle. How do you design a bridge to overcome nature's worst? What does it take to build one of the world's mega bridges? This is the Gulf of Corinth in Greece. It is deep, wide, long, great attributes for marine traffic, but a nightmare for traveling by land. The Gulf of Corinth virtually chops Greece in two. The only land route between southern Greece and the rest of Europe is 150 miles east. Bridging the Gulf has been a goal for more than a century. But it was impossible until now. Enter the Rian Antirian Bridge. This colossal bridge is the first ever to cross the Gulf of Corinth. It clears the water by 170 feet, leaving room for the biggest ships. The design of the Rian Antirian Bridge looks deceptively simple. 368 sleek cables, four conical towers, a yellow ribbon of roadway. At night, it glows. But the true brilliance of this bridge is how it overcame the enormous challenges of building here. Challenges so mind-boggling, they stumped engineers for decades. Top of the list, earthquakes. Other bridges have been built in earthquake zones, but this bridge must cross an active seismic fault line. And it gets worse. The water here is extremely deep, 200 feet. No bridge anywhere had been built with foundations this deep. It would take a daring plan to overcome these hurdles. April 1996. The only link across the Gulf of Corinth is ferry boat. In perfect weather, it takes 45 minutes. A bridge would reduce that to five. So for decades, the Greek government had solicited new bridge designs. Nothing ordinary could succeed. Yet designers' options are limited. Virtually all bridge designs are based on just four bridge types. Beam arch, suspension, and cable stayed. Choosing the right starting design is crucial. The main criterion is length. The Rian Antirian Bridge must be one and a third miles long. The longest bridges in the world are beam bridges, but this design would be a disaster in the Gulf of Corinth. The flat road spans must be supported from below every few hundred feet. The hundreds of support piers would block major ship traffic. It is a non-starter. An arch bridge can stay clear of huge ship traffic, but to span the Gulf of Corinth would require an arch bridge four times bigger than ever built before. It is too risky. Another dead end. A suspension bridge can leap the farthest of any design. Enormous cables stretch from one shore to the other. Shorter cables hang down from the main cables to hold the roadway. But all these steel cables make suspension bridges expensive. Billions of dollars. Greece cannot afford to build one. Suspension is out. This leaves only one option, a cable stayed design. Here there are no expensive main cables. Instead, the smaller cables hang directly from towers. But no cable stayed bridge ever built could survive the demands of the Gulf of Corinth.
the most promising plan comes from a French company, Vinci. Vinci's design would attempt to build the world's longest continuously suspended road span. It would require four consecutive towers, something never before tried. A 7,000-foot roadway would hang from the giant towers. This means the towers would bear the entire weight of the bridge. To support this enormous weight, the towers must be planted on extremely solid ground. Researchers probe the sea bottom for bedrock. At 50 feet, there is only silt, sand, and clay. 300 feet, still no solid ground. There is no bedrock even 1,500 feet deep. It is a major setback. They cannot build record-setting bridge towers without sturdy ground to support them. During earthquakes, the loose seabed here liquefies. Towers could tilt and destroy the bridge. Vinci's plan will not work. So Vinci engineers return to the drawing board and emerge with an even bolder plan. Their idea? Strengthen the sea bottom by embedding 100-foot long metal cylinders, hundreds of them under each tower. In an earthquake, the pipes should hold the soil firm. It has never been tried. No one even knows exactly how to do it. But the plan is convincing, and Vinci wins the contract. Vinci should be careful what they wish for. Every step brings a new challenge. And the Greek government imposes a big one. The bridge must be completed in five years, or the builders must pay huge financial penalties. Summer 1999, construction begins. The team's first hurdle, invent a machine to install the soil reinforcement pipes. Each pipe is a massive 100 feet long and six feet wide. They need to drive the pipes with precision, so they need a floating platform that is perfectly steady. At normal depth, the builders could use a four-legged barge. The legs extend to the seabed and hold the barge steady against current and waves. That is impossible in the Gulf of Corinth. The seabed is too soft, and the legs would not reach the deep bottom. So engineers here invent another first. They start with a barge called Lisa. Crews remove the legs and replace them with enormous chains. Each chain gets an anchor made of concrete slabs, one and a half million pounds worth. Crews sail the barge into position, lower the anchors, then pull the chains tight. Now the barge is held rock steady. Having a stationary platform is only the first half of the puzzle. How do you guide the massive pipes through 200 feet of water with precision. To do it, workers must fit Lisa with an enormous frame. The frame holds a guide tube that moves to exact locations using GPS. To pick up one of the pipes requires a hydraulic hammerhead, big enough to host a poker game. A crane moves the hammerhead and pipe to the guide tube. Even at the surface, it is hard to maneuver the six-foot-wide pipe into position. They need to thread it into the guide ring. Now the pipe must be rammed into the seabed. The hydraulic hammer delivers 160,000 pounds of force with each blow. The pipes might strengthen the seabed, but they create a new problem. The towers have to rest on a perfectly flat surface.